Well, I saw this place on another YouTube channel and I thought I would check it out. I got a lot of tips from their channel. It's called New State Nomads. I believe you pronounce this Kakawa. Let's take a look. Very unique. Are those stamped? Um, no, it's actually um, is that paper. On top. Yes. It's like a paper. Yes. Oh, so you can, it's edible paper. It is. It is. Really? What's unique about this shop? About this shop, the quality of the product, you all the love gosh, that goes into making the product, uh -huh. and um, just everybody, especially the owners. And I just love working here because I started eating the chocolate first. <laughs> <laughs> so do you make the chocolate in-house here or at your other location? Uh, we have three yeah. locations in town and we make the chocolate at the San Mateo location. We make the ice cream and all of the baked goods at the Rafino location near Meowl. And this is the this is actually the flagship and at the flagship is where we made everything at first. And then we just started getting too big. So we spread out. Oh, okay. Yes. Alright, nice. So, if I was to go to your other location, can I see them making it now or no? Um, At this time? It's a good question. Um, we do have doors that lead to the kitchen and sometimes the doors are open and sometimes the doors are closed according to what the temperature is in the kitchen because it is all temperature controlled. The, the, Chocolate is a little temperamental, and if it does get beyond a certain temperature, it does tend to bloom, which means it, it changes color. So we need to be careful about mm -hmm. that. So sometimes the doors are closed. Sometimes they are open, so when you're standing at the case, you can look in and watch them, you know, shaking the chocolate and shaking off the extra chocolate or forming the chocolate, but it's not a, it's not a tour. Depending on the temperature. Okay, well, I might check that out because it's yes. just a couple of miles from here, isn't it? Yes, um, it wouldn't be walking distance because yeah. of, you know, there aren't sidewalks, but um, yes, if you go to the San Mateo location, there is a chance. Okay, yes. I might check that out. Yes. Thank you so much. You're What's your first name? My first name's Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. And you're more than welcome to taste our, our elixirs. This is what we're known for. So oh. We have 18 different flavors. What's your favorite? My favorite on the board today would be the rose almond. We have 18 flavors total and we do rotate them. So um, my favorite is not on the board today, but my favorite on the board today is the rose almond. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little taste. is my favorite. This is the rose almond. This is the cacao's American, which is closest to a regular hot chocolate. So I'm going to give you this taste first to just warm you up. Okay. Are you allergic to anything? No. Okay. Does it look like I'm allergic to anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's okay. really strong. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So that's the regular hot chocolate, the closest to a regular hot chocolate that we go. Very uh, chocolatey. Yeah, I try to start with that one just to ease you in. This one is the rose almond and it does have chili in it. So um, this one, if it's too spicy, we could always pour some American into it to, show, to calm it down a little bit. Okay. This is the rose almond and I prefer it with some whipped cream. So. Whipped cream? Yeah, so yeah. just have a taste. And if we need to put some whipped cream or some American, we could do that. Oh yeah, it's a little bit spicy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little bit spicy. Yeah, so let's try again. Try uh, the con one. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Uh, the oh, I get a little spoon with this one. And the almond sea Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's very good. I'll just 
So enjoy. Check out this. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm going to head you. up your other location. Yeah, enjoy. So this is their other location. So I was able to go in and the owner took me in the back room and he said no filming of their process. So um, I was able to see how they do everything. They were making truffles at the time. And then they had, um, in another room, they had another machine where they were melting the chocolate. I'm a little bit familiar with the, some of the chocolate making process because I used to own a business called J Cadmill Candy Company and I too made truffles and I also did molded uh, chocolate with um, different flavors. It was really fun. It was, oh my gosh, such a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, learn something new about me all the time, don't ya? This is strawberry caramel cream. Pretty darn good. I don't really get the flavors. This little tiny piece of chocolate was $4.07 though. Look at the layering. It's amazing. <laughs> 